So, why do we actually care about these projective spaces? Well, let's say I use a computer algebra the system like Sage that I commonly use. There I can define an elliptic curve. Here to our elliptic curve with modulus 3503. And then I can generate a random point on this curve. But, wait. A curve is a pair of x and y coordinate, right? So, what is this third value here? Well, turns out the common representation of curve points actually has three coordinates, not two. And that's quite weird, right? Because we have this nice equation with an x and a y. So, in order to understand where this comes from, which also has something to do with where the point at infinity comes from, we first have to look into projective space. So this week we're going to look into projective spaces, and then we will look into Montgomery arithmetic, and Montgomery curves, and the Montgomery ladder, and then we're going to go to curve 25519, which is actually a Montgomery curve.